Hello and welcome, my name's Sarah and today I want to talk about the language of maths which is only in the MEI OCR Core 1 maths. Every other exam board doesn't actually have this, it's only MEI, so it's quite special. It's a nice little topic, it's only probably going to be one question normally in section A and it's quite easy once you get the hang of this, it's just using, it's the very basics of logic. Let's take a look at the first one here. You're always given two statements, as I've put x squared is 9 and x is 3. And you need to be able to fill in the middle the correct arrow. You've got a choice of a forwards arrow, a backwards arrow, or a double-headed arrow. So this one here means that the left implies the right. This one's the right implies the left, and this one's that they're equivalent, they both imply each other. So, looking at this one, the best way to approach it is to assume the first statement. So we'll assume that x squared is 9. Does that mean that x is 3? Well, x could be 3, but also x could be minus 3. So no, it doesn't just imply that x is 3 it would imply that x is both plus and minus 3. So we can't put that arrow there because it's not the direct implication. OK, let's start on this side. Assume that x is 3. Does that imply definitely that x squared is 9? Well, yes, if you start off with x is 3, x squared has to be 9. So it will be an implication that way. And that's that one done. Let's take the second one. Assume that shape A is a square. Does that mean definitely that A has four right angles? Well, yes, it does. A square has to have four right angles, so we will put in an implication that way. Now, starting with A has four right angles, does that mean necessarily that it's a square? No, it doesn't. It could be a rectangle or... Yeah, it could be a rectangle or a square. All right, let's look at the third one. If you assume that Y is X, does that mean that Y minus X equals zero? Yes, it does, it does. Now let's start on this way. If y minus x is 0, does that mean that y equals x? Yeah, it does. There's nothing else it could be. So both ways are implied, which means you get the double-headed arrow. I'm going to put three more examples of these on the board. Have, pause the video when I've written them down, and you can have a go yourself, and then come back and see if we get the same. Okay, have you had a go? I hope so, I hope they're all right. Let's look at this one. If x is prime, x must have exactly two factors. Any prime number has two factors, one and itself. So yes, that way is implied. And also, going back the other way, if x has two factors, it's got to be prime. So those two are equivalent as well. Taking the next one, if Charlie's tail doesn't actually mean that he's a dog, he could be any other kind of animal that has a tail. But if Charlie is a dog, yes, he does have to have a tail, hopefully, unless it's been cut off. So yes, it goes that way. Last one then, if M is 46 degrees, does that mean it's acute? Yeah, that's fine, I'm happy with that. But if M is acute, that doesn't mean necessarily that it's 46 degrees, it could be any other angle less than 90. So it doesn't go back the other way, it's just the forward implication. Okay, well I hope that was helpful. You can get statements on nearly anything in this, but it's always the same kind of logic. So just be patient, take time over it, uh, over it. start with one side and assume that, see if it implies the next side. Alright, have fun.